Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. For premium picks and information, Dwyer, 70905.substack.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, the time to make plays in the NFL futures market is when everyone is panicking. The odds you get matter. The price you get matters. Everyone is panicking right now because the Los Angeles Chargers went to Kansas City right in September and beat the Chiefs. Let's be clear here. The Chiefs are the team that has represented the AFC in the last two Super Bowls. Understand, as I make this video, the Chiefs are in last place in the AFC West. Again, last place in the AFC West, they're one and two because they also lost to the Baltimore Ravens. Right? So people are panicked. The futures on the Chiefs has jumped more than 150 points. You're now getting a plus 550 on the Chiefs. Right, folks? It's Christmas time in September. If you, like me, were hesitant to pay the very stiff price on the Chiefs earlier, now is the time to grab as much action as you think is reasonably responsible on the Chiefs right here at a plus 550 to win it all. Let's talk about it. First, understand how they lost to the Baltimore Ravens. The Chiefs were already in field goal range to win the game. Right? They were already down on the Ravens side of the field. Then in one of the more curious play calls, they handed the ball off to their undersized back, Clyde Allaire. And, of course, he fumbles the football. That's what ends that game, folks. They could have kicked the field goal. They handed it off to the running back who fumbled the ball. Let's look closely now at the numbers on their most recent loss, the one that has the public panicking. Their loss to the Chargers. Understand, the Chargers did have some success. They had 21 first downs in the game. Let me just add that Kansas City, by contrast, had 32 first downs. In other words, Kansas City had 11 more first downs than the Chargers. Let me point out, too, that the Chargers in the game, everyone is crucifying Kansas City's defense. Right? That's the big story here. Kansas City's defense is not ready. Kansas City's defense gave up 77 rushing yards for the game to the Chargers. 77. By contrast, you heard me here criticize Edwards Hilaire. Well, just understand, by contrast, Kansas City rushed for 186 yards against the Chargers. Right? 186 yards. The total yards... The Chargers had 352 total yards. The Chiefs had 437 total yards. Now, football is an interesting sport. Sometimes you could outplay your opponent and lose because of turnovers. Now, in this game, the Chiefs had four turnovers. The Chargers had none. That's what tanked the Chiefs. It's a fluke game, folks. It's what I call a turnover game. Understand, Kansas City was even ahead in the time of possession. Almost 32 minutes. They had the ball 31 minutes and 59 seconds. Right? Out of 60 minutes. But, of course, the Chiefs lost. Now, you and I know that the Chiefs weren't outplayed by either the Baltimore Ravens, who they lost to earlier, 
or the San Diego Chargers. They were not played by either team. You and I know that this is the most talented last place team in the National Football League. The fact that they're giving you a plus 550 is a gift. Understand the way to play futures. It's not that I believe necessarily that the Chiefs are going to win it all. Right? I believe football is too many ups and downs. It has too many injuries to know definitively in the first month of the season, which we're still in. Folks, it's still September of 2021. It's too mercurial to know with certainty who's going to win. But here's what I think I know. The Chiefs, the two-time defending AFC champion Chiefs, Right in a you know in a conference where you see that some teams have a lot going on but aren't quite elite, New England Patriots for example, right? You see that some teams are already dealing with devastating injuries that are going to cost them some games going forward. The Carolina Panthers and the Christian McCaffrey injury. Right, You see some of the problems with some of their competitors. You see that the Chiefs, at a minimum, could play the Chargers for four quarters and have better stats. Not the better final score, but have better stats than the Chargers. You notice that Josh Jacobs with the Raiders is banged up. You also notice that Derek Carr, who's off to a fast start, is too high risk. He's throwing jump balls for guys like Henry Suggs. And you understand that defenses are going to figure out who some of these wide receivers are. Right? So the wide receiver from Alabama, Ruggs, with the uh, Raiders, right now he's caught a lot of people off guard. Pretty soon defenses will make the adjustment. So at these odds, this last week of September, I'm now jumping in the side of the pool where I can get the Kansas City Chiefs at a plus 550 to win it all. I know Denver looks great right now, no question about it. Their defense looks spectacular. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater is a clear step up from Drew Locke. (coughs) But I'm expecting the Chiefs, at a minimum, in a division with the Chargers, who I mentioned earlier, with the Raiders, who I mentioned earlier, and with Denver, who I'm mentioning now, I'm expecting the Chiefs to be at least a wild card coming out of the AFC West. At least a wild card. Right? I'm expecting them in the playoffs, and if you could get this team in the playoffs, you're not going to be able to get a plus 550 like you are right now. The play I'm recommending to shore up uncertainty in your NFL futures betting portfolio, and that's the goal of getting positions early, is to get the Chiefs at a plus 550. I don't think casual fans understand that they actually outplayed the Chargers, but for the four turnovers, which are atypical for this team. Understand, too, they're adding Josh Gordon to the team. Right? He's returning from suspension. They're getting him for practically nothing. They're adding him to the team. You're giving Pat Mahomes an extra weapon, right? This offense, which is prolific, understand, while they didn't score a lot of points this weekend, they had 32 first downs. What I want people to do is to look around this league and total up the teams that had as many first downs last week as the Kansas City Chiefs did. 
folks, you're still dealing with one of the defining offenses of our time. Right? Tyreek Hill, still there, still producing. Travis Kelsey, still there, still producing. Right? That rushing game, 180 yards last week. Excuse me, I'm shortchanging them. The number is actually 186 yards last week. Right? Pat Mahomes, still producing. Folks, they had over 30 points against the Raven defense, for crying out loud. Should have had more, but for the fumble. The sun will rise again. This team will rise again. The plus 550 is a gift. I believe you need to add it to your NFL betting futures right here. Don't be too clever and outthink the room. Don't think to yourself, hey, if they lose this week, maybe I'll get a plus 700. If I wait, maybe people will panic more. And maybe I'll get a plus 700. Look, stop kidding yourself. The minute they say the Kansas City Chiefs and they're up around plus 500, you need to say, thank you, I'll take the bet. Right? You're already getting more than compensated for the risk. So here, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. You think for yourself. I'm adding Kansas City to win it all on NFL Futures right here at plus 550. I'm not going to wait because I understand this is a special price. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.